in the world, you could make any kind of tea. There's infinite varieties. The amount that has to be different to call it something different is very little. You can change where it's from or the type of trees that are grown around it or the amount of sunlight it gets and call it something entirely different. So the variety is pretty intense. Tea has a lot of associated health benefits. Uh, the main one that people talk about is getting the antioxidants from tea that helps cleanse your body and get out some of the toxins that build up. The greener the tea, the better. So your green teas, white teas, and oolongs that are on the greener side, the ones that aren't baked very much. I think that with coffee, you can get a lot more negative side effects. You know, people that have been drinking a lot of coffee, you know, they're going through two or three pots a day, they get very shaky and jittery. I don't ever see that with tea. So, this is a Gong Fu setup. It's a traditional tea ceremony setup. So you start with tea in the Gai Wan, and we pour hot water on that. And after the tea is done steeping in there, we're gonna move it over. We run it through this strainer, and now you've got tea in this decanting pot. Now, you can just drink tea straight from there. In Seattle, it's pretty difficult. There's a lot of established chains, like Starbucks and Tully's and Seattle's Best, but there are a number of reputable tea shops that are springing up, so I think that there is a little bit of competition yet. Well, I think that the weather certainly helps. People like to be inside on a cold day and have something warm to drink. I see a lot more people that are drinking tea over coffee and think that the numbers are definitely going up.